Hello, and welcome to Skyblock Season 2, I guess. Uh, with me, the most epic one, okay, Mr. Sarat. We have played Skyblock in the past, and on this very server. Until we had a small issue <laughs> with, uh, griefers completely destroyed my island. And, um, yeah, I kind of quit in a rage. But anyway, we are back. Uh, I've been told it has changed a lot. A lot less griefers. So we're going to give it another crack. I've been meaning to for some time. The server looks a little different though. They have added quite a lot. You've got Sky Grid, Sky Block, Sky Block 2. You've got Factions, Survival, Creative. Uh, what's that? That's... Leash? I'm not sure. Uh, coming soon is Prop Hunter, so that's going to be good. Actually, it might be Coming Soon is that one, and Prop Hunter is already up there. I'm not too sure. Let's go have a look. It's it is up there. We can we can jump in and play a little bit of Prop Hunter if we really wanted to. This one's coming soon. Down here we've got what's that? Hunger Games. Yes, and War. All these are fun PvP. Unfortunately, this server, um, a lot of you know, uh, the accent's kind of a giveaway. I'm in Australia, which means PvP on a server, a Leechcraft server, or Leechcraft, that's based, I believe, in North America. I have a distinct disadvantage <laughs> on, yeah, any kind, in, when it comes to any kind of PvP. I have tried Hunger Games a fair bit, and I'll be on full health. I then die and get told that I die from a wooden sword. M well, yeah, it's like an instant kill, which doesn't happen with a wooden sword. But anyway, um, I keep trying, but it's not going to happen. So we're going to stick with Skyblock, not Skygrid, Skyblock. There is a lot of people on the server at the moment, and I will prove that to you. This here is just the hub with these three items you got down the bottom here. The clock, magic clock. You can, just to get frames going a little bit easier, just click on it and get rid of people. Frames going a little bit easier, just to make it so there's less issue with <laughs> frames. And whilst recording that can become an issue, so I usually turn it off so no one can see me and I can't see them. The gold nugget shows you your ranks that you can buy. There is a donation system which helps to fund this server. And then the actual compass gives you this here and you can go over top of it and it shows you the different modes or the different servers that you can go play. You can just pick one of those up or you can go into the actual portal Let's jump into Skyblock 1 and have a look around. This is the one that we played previously. And it looks very different. Quite nice looking at the moment too. Little, I don't know, a walled town, a walled, walled city. Through here, this is where you actually start ordinarily when you come into this server. Or well, that's where I've always started. Just a few basic commands, how to create your island, how to set your home and how to set other people to play. This is a multiplayer server, so yes, you can play with other people. Out here we have a market. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yep, the market, things are a lot more expensive. It used to be dirt was 50. It's now a thousand. Yes, there are player markets though. You can set a player, a player market up. And most people do give it a crack. It's generally the way to go to to uh, buy items at a slightly cheaper price. But you can buy just about anything on the server. You're not restricted quite so much as you are with single player. Let's get into it though. You start off with a slime ball, 64 cobble, a sword which I have already used a little bit. I was attacked by a spider earlier. Just a basic kit, actually. A piece of string, that's... Sure, why not? If I just quickly check my balance, I have 3,500. 
So I could buy a couple of items already. I have, you start off with 500, I have an extra 3000 because I have voted for this server and you will see in chat a fair bit. It will say when somebody has voted and it will say who it is that's voted. But anyway, that you have to go to the website for. I will put a link to the Lichcraft server so you'll be able to join in if you feel like it, if you see I'm on and I'm paying attention. <laughs> Drop me a message, I don't mind. Anyway, let's get into it. We want to... What do we want to do? Let's get out of that. We want to... IS create. I have not yet started. So we are brand spanking new island. My old island, there was a reset, which means unfortunately we lost all that beautiful cobblestone. We, oh, which is the only thing that uh, was left. Last time I tried this year, people, they, they stole everything. All the dirt gone. They, they stole my trap to prevent people from being able to get onto my island in the first place. Two water buckets. We can already create an infinite water source. Okay. Interesting. The chest is also in a slightly different spot to where it, what I'm used to. Eh, we have sand. Well, what? Alright, okay. Well, we're going to have to do this just a little bit differently. I'm not too sure it's underneath the sand. More dirt, that's fine. An L shape. We will move the chest and everything. You can rebuy things like the water. So, hopefully I don't stuff this up, which is a distinct possibility. There we go. We'll whack this down. Get that wood out. And... Might as well turn it all into wood, because we need one of these. We don't need a button, we need a few of you. I'll put... Now this is one thing that a lot of people don't do, but... You can actually use this as a little bit of a platform, so why not? I'm going to put it pretty low, for a reason. I'm going to set my island up, down underneath this level. There we go, a bit more dirt. Actually, you know what, let's let's use that dirt, why not? I'm going to go lower than this once I've got enough cobble for the time being. Don't forget, you need to keep some, some grass, you don't need to... you've got to make sure you don't use it all up, or destroy it all. Again, thankfully on a multiplayer server like this where you can buy grass blocks, it's not as big an issue. But it's never a good thing when you have to go out and spend a little bit of your hard-earned cash. Ooh, middle of island, they use God bow on me. Hmm, yeah, someone being grief there it seems. Yeah, it's never fun when you end up having to go out and spend your hard-earned cash just for something because simple as a piece of grass. Alright, let's jump down here and see how we go. I am going to put this just back here. Just in case. Let's see if this works. Yes! Excellent. Alright, so this is going to be nice and slow. We're going to be, unfortunately, <laughs> spending a lot of time breaking up cobblestone right now. Oh, got pushed out. Which is not fun. Not exciting at all. So what I might do... Finish up the tour... Oh, I didn't get that one. Finish up the tour of the server. Just show you a few other areas. And then I'm going to come back and go crazy with my cobblestone generator. This is a very basic cobblestone generator. But it is also challenge one completed. And that is because there is in fact on single player, not on multiplayer, but we're going to use it anyway, single player skyblock, the original skyblock, there are 33 challenges to complete. And we're going to try to complete all those on the multiplayer server. Why not? But anyway, we don't need to 
stay here. Let's set home. How was that done? Set home. Is that it? Home set. Excellent. Now if we go spawn. Two seconds. Whoop. Back to base. Alright. And yeah, we can go through all these portals here. Alright. Creative. Now there is creative server, which is exactly what you... Well, exactly what it says. Exactly what you would expect it to be. And... Yeah, I find that kind of boring. Yeah, multiplayer, creative. You can do some interesting stuff, but... Still creative. Skygrid. I wouldn't mind giving this a crack, but I'll probably do that with another person. We'll see how we go. Uh, Skygrid is... It's a skyblock type of map. It's... Well, you have to see it to, uh, to understand. It's basically every... Ooh, is it three blocks? There's another block. A random block. And we're talking three-dimensional. Straight up, straight down. In all dimension, all directions, there is a random block every few blocks. And there is no floor. There's no ground down the bottom. So if you do not manage to jump the distance to the next block, you could end up falling to you the void. Very interesting, though. Skyblock 2 is much the same as Skyblock 1, only kind of different layout, slightly different uh, rule set, I guess. We'll have to go in and have a look. Hunger Games is, of course, Hunger Games. War. I haven't given War a go yet. Uh, survival is... Well, it's, it's just a survival server, really. Standard Minecraft. And Factions is... Again, as it seems, it's factions. Uh, what have we got there? Oh, back to the base, is it? Back to the hub. Let's have a look at the Hunger Games. I'll show you just the layout of it. Did I go to the wrong one? I seem to have... This here is Skygrid 2. So you can see we're... All the same sort of starter... Items. I've got some snowballs and some eggs. Uh, I collected those. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know. There's chickens around on this spawn area. So, but yeah, you can still create your island much the same. Don't know why we came to here. I thought I went through the Hunger Games portal. Well, let's go through here. And it's taken me here again. Okay, let's. Try going through a different one. Creative, Hunger Games, Skygrid, Survival, Factions, and is this the hub? A uh, Skyblock. Oh. Huh. Let's go to Hunger Games through here. There might be a little bit of a, a bug happening. Ah, no, we're at Hunger Games. Alright, this is the Hunger Games server. There's currently 25, 24, 24 different maps that you can play on. What you need to do is find one that hasn't started yet, of course. Just underneath here, where I'm pointing, there'll be a counter, counting down until the start of the game. What it means here, we've got 16, that's the maximum number of people that can be on this map. Grey is the number of people that have died so far in the current game, and the first number there, the black, in this case 6, is how many are still alive. So you can see who's in there, who's died, who's still going. Um, there's one right there, 114 seconds to go. There's 11 people currently in there, room for 24. I'd give it a crack, only I know that... Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I might. I'll. We'll go in here anyway. I'm not going to be able to do anything because I will. I'm going to be killed. People will think that I'm standing in one spot and they'll kill me. I'll be thinking I'm running in the opposite direction. But we'll give it a shot. And the game will start in five seconds. Five second. Five. There we go. Four, three, two, one, go. And not a bad haul. I did not get the sword that I thought I was getting. Oh, this is... it's actually a giant Monopoly board. It's quite interesting. Got a bit of armour. 
Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's uh, another odd little bug. These buildings you can go into, and I find I usually die whilst in these buildings. And that is because... Well, right there. Someone is outside. I know they're out there. They know I'm in here. And I got him! Ah. And I lost. Iron sword and a fair bit of armour. I was killed with an iron sword, actually. Oh, huh, interesting. It looked like it was wooden. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much how the games go <laughs> for me. Not too good. We're going to stick with Skyblog for the time being. But anyway, that's a look at the server and what we're going to be doing on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to head back, collect myself a whole ton of cobblestone, and I will see you, hopefully, with an ungriefed island in... Oh, excellent. In the next episode. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.